Sean Strickland and Uriah Hall. What were your thoughts, man? I was very, very surprised. Yeah, I should probably get back on the topic of, yeah. <laughs> of MMA rather than Andre the Giant. Um, I It was a big surprise to me because I always felt that Uriah Hall, one of the most gifted MMA athletes there was physically, mm-hmm. just mentally, it was just like a deficit. When you see someone like Izzy or a Kamara Usman, let's bring up Kamara Usman. Um, Kamara Usman, incredibly physically gifted, mm-hmm. right? Mentally gifted too. Mm-hmm. And the ones that get both, like uh, like elite level f- like mentality and e- elite level physical, like the when they have those both at- attributes, they're champions. And I think that's what's always missed from you. I he just doesn't have that mental edge. I don't know. He's so he's so gifted, but when you put the pressure on him, like Strickland did, when you put him on the back foot and he doesn't get his engine started, especially in that first round. Popping that jab and it really hinders him. It just stops. Like your eye hole needs to get his engine going, mm. and he, he's he's a little bit of a late starter, right? Um, but he's like he needs to. He needs. He kind of he, he doesn't deal with well with pressure. No, because when he's against these pressure fighters that aren't knocking him out, but they're, you know, they're putting a lot of pressure on moving forward, controlling the octagon, right? Especially in that first round. If your eye doesn't win that first round, and he. And he doesn't uh, get confidence of these exchanges, right? He becomes a bit erratic in some of his exchanges further. And, and he becomes quite timid in others. Yeah. He becomes really timid. And then later in the rounds when his coaches will push him, then these exchanges where he's bringing up the tempo a little bit, they're very forced and telegraph shots. So um, honestly, I thought Uri was going to win. Me too. Be- because I, I, I just I think Uriah's resume speaks for itself and the people he's lost to are some of the very, very best. So I, I expected Strickland to be more easily hit uh, with Uriah. Strickland's cardio really impressed me. His yeah. pace really impressed me. I think the best thing about Strickland was his cardio because he was able to build a p- pace on him and he, his ass never hit the stool, you know? Um, and you with Uriah, he's just... Just struggles to get going, bro. Yeah. Just so, like I, uh, I think he got round two. Yeah, I think I think he got round two, round one, uh, three, Definitely four, Strickland. and five. It was all Strickland. Yeah, because right off the first round, Strickland just was constantly, constantly popping that jab. He's got that flat foot boxing that you all, that we talk about a fair bit. Oh, it's I not like it. I, Pardon me. I wanted Hall to win just because he he is like a nice matchup. I think Strickland's just made to be hit with that. He's like got long. He's got really long arms. For yeah. Like, for the, like, it's just weird. Yeah. It's just even uh, Rahul's corner was saying to him, oh, "Hey man, don't just walk into that jab. He's just gonna get you." And because in the first round he threw 129 significant strikes, and that yeah, that, so <laughs> Sean was. He had a he definitely had a massive a massive output and he just turned into looked like a pretty much a boxing match for the first uh, mm. for the first round. And then what really set Uriah going was the uh, was when he got cup shot in the uh, second round mm. and then you know when you get a cup shot you get pretty much like a minute of recovery time roughly give or take and then you that's when Uriah got up and started going more wild and started throwing uh, his kicks. Especially a spinning back kick towards uh, Strickland that sort of just bounced off. And then he just kept using his leg kicks from there because he knows he was using the flat foot. But I agree with you on the second round going to your wire, but Uriah. But then again, rounds three, Sean's, uh, Sean's wrestling just came into play. Mm-hmm. And then he just pretty much let. There was a point where he landed a few stop shots and had him against the cage and just constantly plumbing on him, plummeting on him, took him to the ground. Then he had his back at one point by the end of the third mm-hmm. round, just kept whacking him in the back. Of, um, mm-hmm. Sorry, whacking him in the chin. And then come the fourth round and then there was a point where Sean even wobbled Uriah. Mm-hmm. And then that's when I just thought, okay, I, don't f- I can't see. Unless Uriah knocks him out, I can't see him coming back from this. In, in that fourth round, I thought it was more than just hurt. I thought he actually damaged something mm-hmm. when he got because he got rocked. Then Strickland took him down. And it was later later on, I thought, some because he was wincing in pain, I thought Uriah had been hurt in some other form. Um, but look, well done to Sean Strickland. He's a bit of a weird dude, to be honest. Yeah. He said the... Uh, he said a few weird stuff at the end. He, he, he said, oh, probably not someone that you'd want as UFC champion. You know, I wouldn't be too fast if I killed someone in the 
in the octagon and things like that. He's a wild man. He's a wild dude. Mm -hmm. um, but he's done very well. He's done really, really well. So I expect him to climb the rankings quite quickly. Well, Sean's 11 and Uriah's 8. So I'm guessing they're waiting to switch that around. But I'll tell you one person who I'd love to fight, uh, Sean. Uh, what's his name? Darren Till. That's a good uh, fight. I would love to see them two next. Just, yeah. I just wanted because Darren Till was who was he supposed to fight? Uh Vittori? Vittori. Vittori was it? And then he broke his collarbone. Collarbone, yeah. Yeah, so now he's waiting to come back from that. And yeah, since you know Sh Sean Strickland's already beaten Uriah, that lets him climb up. I can't really see him fighting Kelvin Gastelum. Kind of can't really see him fighting Jack Manson because Jack Manson's fought not that long ago. Mm. So I do see Darren Till, especially considering he hasn't fought for quite some time. But Darren Till's going to fight Derek Brunson. Yeah. Oh, when? Soon. Soon, okay. So um, I, I'm thinking Sean Strickland and maybe in the future like a Jack Manson or a Darren Till. Mm -hmm. um, Kelvin Gaston's going to fight soon. Um, not this week or the week after. So maybe like an Edmund Shabazian, maybe that'd mm -hmm. be an interesting, that interesting one. That's a different kind of strike and like a more flat-footed style versus a very uh, unique kickboxing style from Edmund Shabazian. So no, I I don't know. I think maybe with Sean, Sean should fight one of them, and then Uriah maybe. I don't know. He's getting up there. Was it when he fought? It was his thirty seventh birthday. So that you know, that's an old competitor if, if in the middleweight division. Um, I still say if he's coming off his two fight win streak and then he lost to Sean, he's still up there. Mm. He still is. I wouldn't mind seeing him maybe rematch Chris Weidman if Chris Weidman fixes his leg because I know that he went into a second surgery to fix his leg. Now, what was wrong with the first surgery? It wasn't healing properly. Wasn't the healing. bone wasn't healing properly. Oh, no. wow. And uh, most likely he's got a similar. Surgery to Connor with a titanium um, rod through there with with screws in the in the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, I think that mainly that surgery is just to clean up any infection or anything like that and have a look and and see why if there's any possible reasons why it hasn't been healing properly. But I think maybe a Brad Tavares or a Chris White would, would be a good idea. Even yeah, even to Kevin Holland or something like that.